Coach Prime doesn't take any L's. A few weeks ago, the top recruit in the Colorado Buffaloes recruiting class, Jawan Johnson, decommitted from the Buffaloes. This was a huge blow to the Buffaloes program, especially because he decommitted a day after the spring game, along with all the other Colorado Buffaloes that ended up transferring out of Colorado. And I'm not gonna lie, a couple of days after that, it was looking real rough for Coach Prime because it seemed like half the team just left and where are you gonna find all the replacements? But you know that Coach Prime doesn't take any L's. Now don't get me wrong, Juwan Johnson was a very good player. Like I said, he was the top player for the Colorado Buffaloes, a four-star recruit. He was ranked as the 22nd best athlete in the country. He actually just committed to LSU today, so hey, let's congrats to him. We, we don't have no hate over here. Hey, it's all love. These kids are making the decision of where they're gonna be playing their ball at, so there's there's no hate, there's, there's, there's no love lost. Hey, he went and chose what was best for him. But Juwan Johnson was ranked as the 22nd best athlete in the class of 2024, but Coach Prime went out and got himself the 7th best athlete in the class of 2024. Let me introduce you guys to 4 star athlete coming out of Calabasas High School, Aaron Butler. Now we have been covering Aaron Butler for a minute over here on Sharp Sports because he was heavily linked with either, he was either going to Oregon or he was going to Colorado and you know what, he's already wearing that black and gold and he decided to keep on wearing it into college. Aaron Butler is one of the most explosive and dynamic players in the class of 2024. Primarily, it looks like he's going to be playing wide receiver, but he also can play corner at the next level as well. I do see him playing as a, he, I see him as a better wide receiver at the next level, but this was a phenomenal pickup. He don't take no L's. You lose Jawan Johnson, you lose, you know, your top rated recruit, and then you go and get a top 100 recruit in the class of 2024 to replace him. You love to see it. Hey, Aaron Butler is it, I mean, he's ranked higher for a reason. He is bigger, faster, overall just a more complete athlete and a more, a more complete wide receiver than Jawan Johnson was. Jawan Johnson also was playing a little bit of a different position. He was playing more of a wildcat quarterback, whereas Aaron Butler is your traditional your traditional wide receiver or corner. Again, we're not we're not here to to say nothing negative about Jawan Johnson. Again, he committed to LSU today. We might make a video if you guys want to see a video on Jawan Johnson going to LSU. Be sure to leave this video a like and comment that down below. Leave a video a like overall just so we can get this out to more Colorado Buffalo fans. But Coach Prime is doing a phenomenal job. I was I've been saying it for a while now. You know, we saw a great addition, all the additions in 2023, but the real test of what Coach Prime was going to be made of was what would the 20 to 24 recruiting class look like to me he still has two more things that he has to complete he has to go in and get another top 100 player in the class probably i hopefully it would be closer to the top 50. Bringing in a guy like Aaron Butler is a phenomenal addition. They brought in Dylan Edwards and Cormani McLean last year and Adam Hopkins. All those guys were four-star guys. And they brought a bunch of supporting three-star guys in. This is their second, I wanna say, their second uh, four-star pickup in this class. The number one thing, I, I wanna see them get a couple more four-star guys than they did in 2023. But the true test of when I will know that Coach Prime is the real deal when it comes to recruiting is when he can bring in a top 15 quarterback. Don't get me wrong, he's brought in some he's brought in some solid guys, you know, he's, he's brought in some guys that are gonna be serviceable, but I, I have yet to see a guy that's gonna be that true successor to Shador Sanders yet. He might bring him into the transfer portal. He might just use the transfer portal to find his guy at QB. But when he brings in a top 15 quarterback, primarily or ideally, it would be a top 10 QB. That's when I'll know that that everybody's really putting some respect on Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffalo's name. But let's focus on my guy Aaron Butler for a second. This guy is six foot one, about 175, 185 pounds. He does a phenomenal job of, he's super, super rangy. Comment down below. You guys have been paying attention to the tape more than I have. I, I've watched this tape plenty of times. What position do you think he would be better at? Because for as much athleticism and just playmaking that he has at the wide receiver position, he is one of the most rangy and locked down corner safeties just DBs out there like he can flat out cover guys and he has more than he has exceptional hands to be able to ball hawk in the secondary I, I honestly think that this is one of these guys that can truly play on either side of the ball it really just gonna depend on how many good this way to play through the ball again it really just depends on how many good days do you have a corner and how many how many good days do you have a wide receiver and whichever position you have better more good days it's probably gonna be the position you're playing but he is, to me, equally as good on both offensive and defensive side of the ball. Normally when I'm covering these athletes, you know, they're they're normally good at, at one position and then they're really good at another position. 
My guy Aaron Butler, he's just, I mean, look at him. Look how quickly he closes on this. Sees it, boom, pow, breaks that up. Using using the offhand too, Aaron Butler is one of the most disruptive players in this in the country. Top 100 for a reason. This guy, he can get it done. Hey, you can see he can play a little bit of QB if you need him to as well. Yeah, Aaron Butler is a phenomenal addition to the Colorado Buffaloes 2024 recruiting class. I want you guys to comment down. Ooh, ankles, where do you think you're going? Comment down below. Do you guys think that Coach Prime will get a five-star recruit in the class of 2024? I personally, I think he's going to get a lot more four-star recruits than he did last year. I think bringing in a five-star guy, I think most of them have already been accounted for. He has a couple that he's still linked to, but I do think that I, I would put my money on them not getting a five-star recruit this year, getting a ton of four-star guys, and really just filling that team up with even more quality in this recruiting class. So the Colorado Buffaloes won the Aaron Butler sweepstakes, and he is going to be a big time playmaker up in boulder like i said he's six foot six foot and a half i misspoke he's actually closer to 165 to 175 than he is to 175 185 but overall i like him as a corner i like him as a wide receiver i think he would need to get a little bit more aggressive with catching with his hands if he wants to play wide receiver at the next level but he has all the burst all the shiftiness he has phenomenal route running i do think i'm, I'm leaning a little bit more towards him playing as a, as a wide receiver because we should all know that Colorado's kind of got their corner rooms locked down for a little while, but he could turn himself into a very, very talented corner as well. I only have positive things to say about Aaron Butler. This dude is going to be a big time playmaker for the Colorado Buffaloes. Wanting from all my Buffalo fans, hey, comment down below. What are you guys' thoughts on this pickup? Aaron Butler is now currently your highest rated recruit in the class of 2024 so far. There's a lot of time left before National Signing Day. A lot of big moves are getting ready to be made. Comment everything that you saw down below. Leave this video a like to get this video out to more Colorado Buffalo fans or just more people interested in what Coach Prime is doing over there in Boulder, Colorado. And hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you never miss any of the fire videos that we drop on a daily basis. We are keeping you up to date with everything that is going on in college football when it comes to the recruiting side. We're keeping you up to date with high school football. Any and everything that has to do with high school and college football, we got you covered over here at Sharp Sports. So hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications. I love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.